Prince Vegeta of Planet Vegeta. His exceptional power level has earned him the respect of not only his fellow Saiyans, but also that of the Frieza Force. However, little does he know what fate has in store for him. This is the beginning of that story, one part of a larger tale. Uh, okay. Go ahead and begin your training. Come. And try not to bore me. I want to fight to the death. Too late to beg for mercy. So this is all the Cybermen can do, huh? There'll be nothing left of you. How pathetic. I'm ending this waste of time. Is that all? How? Those are the best Cybermen we have! <laughs> Better get some new ones, then. That was child's play for Prince Vegeta. What a terrifying child. I'm done here. Hurry and open the gate. Y yes sir <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Spare me the ass-kissing. I'm not getting any stronger on a dump like this. Maybe I'll convince Frieza to assign me another planet he's planning on conquering. Uh, another one? Hmm? <laughs> hey there, Vegeta. More training today, huh? Guess a pampered brat like you's got nothing better to do. What? <laughs> You're one to talk, Kui. You've got time to bother me, after all. <laughs> Always got something to say, don't you? And here I was ready to spar with you. Spar with me? Are you serious? Yeah, I am. You haven't heard? Words going around that me and you are rivals. They say it's because our power levels are about uh even. <laughs> yeah, right. There's no way a tactical genius like me could ever be compared to a spoiled Saiyan prince. <laughs> spoiled? You got any idea who the hell you're talking to? I'm talking to Vegeta, not his meathead lackey. <sighs> well, you want to settle this rivalry of ours and find out who's better? All right, then. B but Prince Vegeta, you just went through your training. Don't care. That was nothing more than a warm-up. Besides, this goon could use a bit of a handicap anyway. <laughs> Cocky little brat. All right. This is the last time you run that monkey mouth of yours. Uh, all systems are go. You can start at any time. <laughs> I might not be able to control myself. Better give up before you die. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. Now then, show me what you can do. And then I'll show you something better! I'm actually impressed, Kui. You have no right to be this confident, and yet you are. Get a load of you. You're starting to piss me off. <laughs> You're doing the same to me. Wow. 
Wow, you're still alive. <laughs> well, aren't you full of yourself? The Cybermen weren't cutting it, but you're a bit better. Thanks for not being complete garbage. You punk! At least you're good at trash talk. Perhaps you should try harder. It'd be a shame to die while so outclassed. Damn you, Vegeta! Maybe now, even as dumb as you are, you can finally see who's superior. <laughs> this... can't be. How can a brat like you be this powerful? Because I've been training constantly. Even if I'm up against peons like Cybermen, I train just to get a little stronger. I haven't been sitting on my ass all this time like you. <laughs> You're my inferior. Accept it. <laughs> Whatever. I'll let this slide just this once. I knew you were tired from your training, so I went easy on you. Next time, though, you're dead. No special treatment. Got it? <laughs> Next time, huh? Why not right now? <laughs> I've got a job to do, that's why. I can't be wasting my time with you. But remember this, little prince. Your days are numbered. Uh, pardon me, but are you two finished? Shut up! Can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> well, <laughs> glad that's over with. He was running his mouth, so all I did was put him in his place. <laughs> I bet he's pissing himself. Now that he knows how tough we Saiyans are. He may be a blowhard, but he's not a pushover. He'll be stronger next time we meet. And I'm counting on that, to be honest. I plan to use him to better myself. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't be wrong to call him a rival after all. Oh, right! A clever idea, Prince Vegeta! I hadn't thought of that. Um, Prince Vegeta? What is it? We received word during your training earlier that your next target has been decided. <laughs> Perfect timing. Now I can actually have some fun. Finally, some action! Would you like to leave right away? If so, I can give the word. No, I've got business to take care of first. Business? Business with who? What do you want? Yeah, what are you doing here? See, this ain't no place for chumps like you, you know. I'm here to pay my respects to Lord Frieza before I depart. There's no need. Just head to the target planet. I don't mind, Zabon. Sorry, Lord. Vegeta, I trust you'll do me proud. I will, thank you. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. <laughs> what did Lord Frieza say? He said he trusts us to do him proud. Ha <laughs> ha! Do him proud, huh? Well, that shouldn't be too much of a problem for me and you! Ha <laughs> ha! He still has the upper hand, but not for long. Understood. Prepare for launch.
Now then, how should we go about our attack? Just look at the sheer numbers they've gathered in one place. Not that their power levels are anything special. I see. Hmm. I'm getting readings in a few other spots. Maybe we ought to strike there. Scatter their forces, you know? Hmm. Fine. Looks like we'll have to split up. Nappa, you take the other side. What? But, but we, uh, won't be able to have each other's backs that way. There's no need. We'll just push through on our own. Oh, okay. If you end up dying here, that'll just show you never had much skill to begin with. I don't need Saiyan to go down so easy. You got that? Yep, yes sir. I think it's time we got started. Listen up! No holding back! Put Saiyan power on full display! Move out! Got it! Well, well, where should we start this party? You hapless sap should curse the stars for putting you in my way. Weaklings. Weaklings. Trash sure loves to clump together, doesn't it? Once we crush them here, this planet will be ours. Ha! <laughs> Guess they know it's pointless to flee. Time for some fun!
Oblivion! The pathetic fool! Afraid of me? That fear won't keep you or your planet around any longer. It's over.
a tedious planet. Nappa, status report. Oh, all right. I'm still fighting, but I've wiped out about 80% of them. Got it. Give them hell to their bitter end. I'm almost done here. You got it. Now die. Phew. That's all of them. Guess it's time to report back to Prince Vegeta. Huh? A message from the Frieza Force? That's new. Never been contacted by them before. Nappa here. Yeah, of course I can hear you. What is it? I, uh, I just got a transmission from Lord Frieza. He said, somehow Planet Vegeta's just vanished without a trace. Oh, and what? I guess it was taken out by a giant meteor or something. I can't believe it. Only a few Saiyans are left, including us. Huh, and what? Oh, oh uh, well, that was it. This planet's about done for, too. I need to ask Lord Frieza for another to conquer. One more challenging. The true reason for Planet Vegeta's destruction would remain unknown for some time. Though Vegeta had his own unvoiced suspicions, he would continue to seek more power and commit himself to a life of fighting. Eventually, his path would come to odds with two others. Frieza, the evil tyrant, and Kakarot, the low-class warrior raised on Earth. <laughs>